How does food we eat affect climate change? What foods are the worst for the climate? Where do you see our food coming from in the next 20 years? Oh. Dr. Maria, human geographer and food researcher. Come in! Good afternoon. Hi. We have some questions for Maria. Thank you for inviting me. I'm ready. How does food we eat affect climate change? For example, because we like food that comes from other places and so there are lots of aeroplanes with lots of fuel that need to cross all the way around the planet. Also, sometimes the farmers will force the soil to produce too much food, so they, the soil gets weak. The things in which food comes wrapped, the waste that it produces. And there are controversies. What foods are the worst for the climate? I don't want to blame any food in particular. I work with farmers who produce uh, meat or dairy products and sometimes they are being blamed for climate change and whereas cows do produce gases that are not very good for um, the environment the way in which they produce can be less or more bad for the environment so it's not just about the meat Due to the climate change, would many people turn into vegetarians instead of meat eaters? Will that help the environment and it'll be more safe and free for other animals and there'll be more plants and there'll be more stuff that we can do, like help the environment and more trees? I think we are seeing that process of people wanting to change their diets so that what they eat is less harmful to the planet. We're seeing that in the UK, but it's always important to think that there will be different solutions for different people in different places, and to always remember not to judge. When you check the foods to see if they're like not bruised or anything, the ones that are, maybe use that to use the food not to go to waste but to make like um to use it in another way N not necessarily to eat but maybe to create energy with the food waste that the, um, the farmers don't want to put in the shops so what do you think we could use with the food waste you definitely have read a lot about food and you have just touched like on three big topics that there is so much science going on. I know of, of a really cool scientist who can also use some of the food waste and turn it into electricity and that electricity can power robots. Also, maybe we can learn to eat, to not be so picky about how the food that we eat uh, looks like. But there's also so many other things that you can do when you make your choices about what to eat. So not only about what you eat, but how was it farmed? What pesticides or fertilizers were used? So what you're saying is like, if we had the meat um, and we didn't eat all of it when you put it in the bin, that makes climate change worse. So what if you just save the meat for later or like use it for your tomorrow's dinner? Would that help climate change? I think it would. And I hope that there are more people that think like you. Where do you see our food coming from in the next 20 years? Oh, I think that scientists are working hard at producing food that is grown in a lab. But it might also come from different farms that will look very different to the farms that we're used to. So for example, vertical farms. Would you try a burger or a piece of ham made in a lab? Um, yeah, I would definitely try it. I think, God, this fly. Um, you know when you can eat insects now? I don't know why, but I just know. Oh no, the flying's attacking me. What about you? 
I'll try it like a nibble. I am going to eat the fly. And what about insects? Insects. No. I don't like them. Um, I don't like snails. Just no. not me. <laughs> Would you eat ice cream filled with flies? <gasps> I'll try it. If the flies have been minced. Would you? I will give it a try. Good. Would you eat avocado, but instead of the seed, it's actually a big ball of ants? Oh! You know, in Colombia, we do eat a variety of ants. So I'm going to be very Colombian and say yes. I fire will... ants. Fire ants. Yes, you've tried them? <laughs> no, but I've seen videos how <laughs> painful yes. it is. Yes, I'll try your avocado full of ants. Do you have any more? What about breakfast filled with hissing cockroaches? Oh, okay, I will try the cockroaches. Maybe with some honey on. Do you think that that's the kind of food that we're going to be eating in the future? Lots of insects? Maybe. Maybe, but maybe that's like in, um, not in 2000. So more like what, 3000? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm safe. That goodness, I'm not going to be alive at that point. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have another question. So imagine that you ruled the world. Uh, what would you do to make sure that everybody in the planet had enough food to eat? What I would do is, if we have like some extra food that we could produce to everybody else, I would go to different countries and I would give them food as well. Oh, that's a great thought. If we share it and we operate with solidarity, I think that we would solve not only the problem of climate change and food, but so many others as well. I wish you were in charge. <laughs> <laughs>